Baseball could be coming back to the city of Spartanburg. Today's city leaders announced they would like to build a $250 million baseball stadium near the AC Hotel in downtown. And that's where we find Carlos Flores, who caught up with business owners. So, Carlos, are they ready to play ball? Good evening, Carol. To answer your question, yes. Now, this team that could be coming to the city of Spartanburg is an affiliate of the Texas Rangers and is in single A. Now, the business owners I spoke with believe this move by the city of Spartanburg will be a grand slam for everyone in the area. The minor leagues could be back in the Sparkle City, a city that was once home to the Spartanburg Phillies back in the 60s and 80s, could soon be getting another shot to host one of America's oldest pastimes. Businesses believe this will do wonders for the area. We're super excited. Um, obviously, we're right on Main Street in downtown Spartanburg, so we're open and welcome to any new businesses or people coming into town. We get a lot of foot traffic already, so I mean, foot traffic is just going to increase creeks probably about three times honestly so I mean that's gonna be really good for business too. Not only could a minor league team help the bottom line but many believe it will shine a brighter light on Spartanburg. This will definitely help Spartanburg grow and uh, be something on the map in, Spar in South Carolina. I mean it gives Spartanburg people something to root for that's in Spartanburg. They don't have to travel to Greenville, they don't have to travel to Atlanta so I mean de definitely excited excited about that. But before people can get their Cracker Jacks, they'll need to wait for City Council to bring it on home. It's definitely going to be a piece of history. I believe if it does work out, it'll be around for a very long time. So, I mean, of course, you got the older people that are going to be very excited about that. I mean, the new generation has something to look forward to as well. Now, before that we can lay down the chalk lines, the plan will need to be voted on by City Council. And if it is approved, that team can play as early as 2025. Carol? So, Carlos, could we see a battle of the upstate between the Greenville Drive and this new team? Well, I'll tell you what, Carol, I wish, but unfortunately, we're going to have to wait a little while longer. The problem is the Greenville Drive plays in the Atlantic Coast Division, while this new Spartanburg team will be playing in the Coastal Division. They're both in single A, but two separate divisions. But hopefully, maybe they can make an exception just for us. But for right now, live in Spartanburg, Carlos Flores, WYFF News 4. <laughs>